All right, everyone, we're ready. Tanner, just uh, talk about the at bat with with Franco there in, in the the sixth inning and how high quality of an at bat Franco put up against you. Uh, just another AB. Uh, made some pitches. He fouled fouled off some good pitches that uh, can't complain with. I, I made a mistake on the eleventh, but part of it you're not not going to be perfect every time. So uh, just a mistake. Could you talk about how you pitched tonight in general? Uh, in terms of how I pitched, I, I felt pretty good with how, how I uh, executed. Uh, and threw some really good splits, uh, which that's a pitch, obviously, I've been continuing to work on. Uh, and that's that's been the big thing. Uh, threw that a lot tonight, got some really quality uh, – Work with that done. Uh, slider was iffy at the beginning. Uh, kind of battled my way uh, into figuring that out. Uh, but in terms of fastballs, uh, really was comfortable with that and going in there with the the four seam, two seam. Uh, like I said before, just one bad pitch, and that's all you can say. Can you talk about taking a regular turn now in the rotation? And how how big a challenge would that be for you? Uh, I'm looking forward to whatever challenge uh, is thrown at me, honestly. So uh, being a part of it is is exciting, but uh, also you know, one of those things where you continue to show up every day and and putting in the work that got you to this point or got me to this point. And and just continuing down that that trend and not letting your foot off, off the gas. T Tanner, after watching the game last night, uh, you wish these guys had saved some of those runs for you today. Uh, you know, it, it's baseball. You're not going to show up every day and and score 20 runs. Uh, it's part of it. There there is no uh, solution for for anything, uh, or there's no answer really for anything. So. Uh, you know, the, it's part of the game. Tanner, did you have any idea what was going on with that ball ricocheting off the wall like that that Bronco hit? Uh, no, I've never seen anything anything like that. Uh, but that's that's what you get whenever you're in a, a historical ballpark with all the uh, the nooks and crannies and and the and the layout of the field. Uh, Something you know, something new with baseball every single day. I, I swear, between the the play in Toronto with Verdugo at first base, uh, between that, uh, even we don't know the the whole rule book. So uh, definitely interesting. Learn something new today. Tanner, you mentioned your splitter usage was much higher today. Was that an effect of the the slider not being? exactly where you wanted it, or you want to have a higher uh, usage of the, the splitter uh, moving forward? A uh, combination of both. Uh, like I said, early on, the, the slider was iffy. Uh, I worked my way back into, into building some confidence with it, throwing it for strikes, uh, placing it right where I want to. Uh, but the splitter has been that pitch where I've, I've worked so hard at it that I want to go out there and take it into the games and, and use it. And today was one of those where I felt really confident with it in the bullpen and I rolled with it out, out into the game. Shannon, with the last several of your starts being here at the big league level, how are you feeling about how your stuff is playing overall right now? Uh, building confidence with, with every start, honestly. Uh, just showing up, uh, talking with guys like Sale, Evaldi, Richards, just guys that have been here for a long time and, and pitched at this high level for for numerous years now. It's only going to, like, I, I believe, help me in the, in the long run. Uh, continuing to just kind of shut, shut my mouth and open my ears, open my eyes, just watch what they do, listen to what they do and, and say and – and just learning from them uh, is 
ultimately what I think has been most enjoyable about being here and making these starts is just being around those guys and, and learning from them. Anyone else for Tanner? Thank, Thank you. you.